Hey everybody. I wanted to read 1 John uh, because it's really important. It's really, really good. Um, what I didn't do before was, was pray and ask the Lord to open up our understanding about the scripture. So let's do that. Lord Jesus, I have not read the scriptures in a few days. And I'm, I'm sorry that I'm, I've, I've done that. Please forgive me of my sins. We're about to read 1 John. Please open up my understanding. Write your word in my heart, my mind, and my spirit. Help me to abide in you every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled. And that doesn't say and, it says of the word of life. For the life was manifested and we have seen it and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the father and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye may also have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. That's Chapter 1, verse 5. Please mark that down in your Bible. Highlight that. That will bless you. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. That means that we are trying to straddle the fence and we're trying to say that we're saved, but we're living like the world. We're living for the devil, basically. You can't serve two masters. You have to serve one. So... Don't fool yourself, okay? Be truthful with yourself. And if you're sinning, repent and ask the Lord to forgive, forgive you and go on and know the Lord. Uh, but if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. I like that one also in your Bible, please. That was chapter uh, verse uh, seven. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Okay, so we have sinned. We confess our sins. Okay, don't lie to yourself. Deceive means lie. Don't lie to yourself. It is not helpful. There is no value added in that lie. Okay or any line for that matter. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Let me just tell you something about God, about Jesus. He cannot lie. So you're always going to be wrong. In that situation okay so it's okay to be wrong admit it repent and be saved it's easy it tells you how to do it the Bible is full of instructions on how to be saved so we won't have any excuse and that's I'm talking to myself okay because I have not read the scriptures in a few days and I don't feel right. I don't feel right at all because that's our communication with Jesus, our, our conversation. Our, you know, we pray, we read the scriptures, and that's the way he talks to us. And if we don't, if we're not reading um, and we're just praying, pretty much you're probably asking for stuff. So take some time, Monisa, and read the scriptures every day. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't take a long time, um, but don't spend just a few minutes. 
Spend some quality time with the Lord because he's jealous. Okay? I mean, you'd be jealous. So, do yourself a favor. Read the scriptures. Read them every day. Don't try. Do. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.